So today I'm going over some of the worst rated fragrances I could possibly find on Fragrantica, which is a website that focuses entirely on fragrances and is just a huge compendium of knowledge for different perfumes. So Fragrantica rates fragrances, or the people who wear them go to the website and rank those fragrances, on a scale of 1 to 5, and I found uh, quite a few that are not so well rated. Uh, so I'm going to start with one, which is one that I actually like, and I'm surprised, uh, which has a rating of 3.73 out of 5, which is not a perfume by Juliet Has a Gun. Which, so, okay, I actually like this fragrance, so I'm surprised it has such a low rating. It is a very simple fragrance with only one note, which is Ambrox, uh, which is a synthetic derivative of Ambergris, which is a type of marine musk. Uh, not a perfume, because it only has one note, and it's that particular note, it smells a little bit different on everybody. It can range from musky to sweet to nutty to clean linens, you know, it's one of those very... it evolves. Um, but I would say, I can imagine that uh, the majority of people dislike this because uh, it smells a little bit synthetic, because the main note is a synthetic note, um, but also it's, it has really poor longevity. That's the main qualm that I often see. Um, it's really, really faint. As soon as you put it on, it kind of just goes away, um, which is uh, unfortunate because it's also a pretty expensive fragrance. Uh, I want to say it's, I don't know, $150 for the whole bottle. Obviously, you don't want to spend that much when um, you get a fragrance that really doesn't last that long. So, that I can see. Now, me personally, I like the smell. If it lasted much longer, I would really, really like it. Um, but it doesn't have great uh, ratings in general uh, among the masses. Now, the next one is another pretty popular one. It has a 3.72 rating out of 5, and it is Alien Goddess from uh, Mugler. This is one of those kind of hyper-sweet uh, fragrances uh, that are popular these days. It mainly is vanilla. It has some florals, a little bit of a kind of cashmere sort of stuff in it. But primarily, it's very, very, very sugary vanilla. And uh, that can only, you know, go so far. Like, with La Vie Belle, which is a very strong vanilla fragrance as well, um, it used to be very popular, and now it has really not great uh, ratings because people just got sick of it. You know, once you have this extremely cloying, extremely sweet note, uh, and just general fragrance, and people are wearing it all the time, everywhere, it's very easy to get super sick of it. Um, so this is kind of one of those uh, those options. It is very, very sweet, kind of too strong for its own good. Uh, so for, that, for those reasons, it has a generally low ranking. Now, the next one, which I'm actually pretty surprised about because it is so popular, um, with the same rating as the last one, which is 3.72, uh, is Bright Crystal from Versace. So, I'm surprised about this because it, it's super popular, and I generally hear that people like it, so I'm surprised it has a lower rating. Um, it's a pretty simple fragrance. I personally am not a big fan of it. Uh, it, its simplicity is kind of boring, in my opinion. It, it's uh, just kind of a floral, fruity fragrance with an ice note, which is nice. It makes it a little bit refreshing. It's kind of a springtime-esque fragrance. Um, you know, kind of light, sweet, but not too sweet. More of a floral sort of thing. Um, feminine, and like I said, simple. Longevity, I would say, is also not that good. Um, kind of moderate, weak to moderate, maybe three to four hours. The thing I don't like about it, and maybe some other people dislike it for the same reason, is that it kind of has a, uh, just kind of a, a body wash sort of smell to it, you know, like those liquid body washes, and has kind of like a diluted, soapy smell. Um, so I, I can kind of see why it has this rating, even though pretty much whenever you go online to vendors that are selling it. It has like 5,000 reviews and, and most of them are pretty positive. So again, I'm kind of surprised at the, the rating on Fragrantica, but um, you know, in general, it's just kind of like 
the go-to fragrance, so it's extremely typical and very much overused. Um, so that, that probably also contributes to its lower score here. Now the next one I can definitely see, this one has a much lower score. Uh, this has a 3.62 uh, and it is La Vie est Belle from Lacombe. So in some of my previous videos I have mentioned that I do not like La Vie est Belle. And I've come to discover that a lot of other people also do not like La Vie est Belle um, for several reasons. The first reason is it was so overused a few... Uh, um, years ago, that it just became became so oversaturated, so overused, it, and again, when that happens, it's so easy to get sick of that particular fragrance. And that is exactly what happened with La Vie Belle. The other reason I think why people dislike it is because it's just too, too sweet and too strong. When you put it on, it is just this bomb of sugar, sugar on top of sugar. It has vanilla notes, it has some, some, some like caramel notes thrown in there, it has these overripe fruit notes and berries and things like that. Now, it does work if you enjoy very, very sweet fragrances, but, you know, like I said, it's very overused, it's kind of associated with uh, teenagers a little bit, and in general, just kind of overpowering. It's so strong, you know, a lot of people end up overspraying it, and they just blast this sugar smell, uh, and it's just a little, a little too much to to wear, especially all the time. Um, so I, I can definitely agree this time with um, this rating. The last one I also have to agree with as well. Um, this is the lowest score I could find on the list, which is uh, three point five nine out of five, uh, and that is Angel from Mugler. So this is kind of pretty much in the same vein as La Vie Belle in terms of this is extraordinarily sweet and way too strong for its own good. It is uh, uh, just just all the sugar notes, all the florals, and all the fruit notes you could imagine coming together into this just concentrated atom bomb of sweetness. And uh, I will say, I have come across some people who are just like, they'll die for this fragrance, you know, they really enjoy it. But, I would say in general, it's kind of a little bit overused and very strong and very, very sweet. Um, but it is a popular fragrance still, so I guess, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, but, in general, those are the uh, five worst rated fragrances I could find. Uh, at least currently. I'm sure some others will come and wreck the list eventually. But uh, if you like this video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, um, and I make a few videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.